Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Daily Bish Diaries and uh, we're doing quite okay. We're beginning to drop a lot of points now because uh, it's getting tougher and tougher to maintain this run. Um, we are struggling at the moment away from home to get points. We drew to North Ferribri in the FA Cup and then managed to be them at home to make it to the FA Cup first round, which is an achievement in itself. Uh, York City away drew... Barrow, we, yeah, FA Cup. This was a massive win because Barrow in the National League, uh, and we beat them two one in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. Playing, I, I still think we are playing the four two three one. Yeah, we're still playing the four two three one against them, and we beat them two one. And then against Bradford, um, still with the four two three one. We haven't changed our tactic yet, except for lately. Uh, I've now. Ch- Thinking of playing a 4 1 2 2 1, all because we're not uh, scoring against a 4 4 2. 4 4 2 is just holding me back. Now, Alfredton Alfre- 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 away this match as well. 4 4 2 versus the 4 2 3 1. We struggle to break this, this, uh, these tactics down. I mean, away from home, we only had two shots on target. It's been uh, then Telford away from home. This time I decided, okay, fine, let's try something different, right? So I went in there. Telford are basically a side that is pretty strong in the National League North. Uh, season preview has them as one of the uh, better teams in the land. Uh, we went there. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't beat them. I, I'm playing this game pretty fast because I'm not doing the normal things that I do which is uh, really, um, I will do stuff like this in a game. So I'll, I'll analyze my shots, right? And look and see um, how, many were the, how many of these shots were really good shots. But to be honest with you, some of these chances were pretty good. Uh, some of them didn't come from set pieces. I'm not even sure what this chance looks like. I've just, just picked a random one up. Uh, yeah, so we build play up. We get into the box. Our finishing isn't fantastic. That's the problem. We get enough chances inside the box, but we can't bury them. So in terms of quality of chances, we're getting... We we are... we are. Cre- I mean, like, this is bloody close, right? But that was a header. He, he couldn't uh, bury it. Uh, Telford, on the other hand, well, we kept them at bay for a long time. So I, I've tried... A, now I'm trying a variation of the 4 one 2 one See, Almost similar to what I did on the getting started with Bayer Leverkusen. This is a custom press where I go old school. I have the press in front. Uh, and then I got... This This guy should be pressing as well. Okay, so he's pressing. Uh, the halfback doesn't do any pressing. And then uh, the team instructions are... Just, it's just middle of the park. I don't change anything. Uh, we don't want to deal with crosses. So I'm, defend, I'm defending a bit wide. So the boys are closing. So these guys actually close down and help close the flanks down. At least that's the theory in my head. Whether or not it uh, bears any fruit is going to be interesting. Uh, in terms of how the team is developing, not too bad. Training-wise, okay. But today's match is going to be different. It's not going to be the, one of the league matches. I, I We are three points clear of Boston. 16 games played. If we keep playing like this, we might get promoted. I mean, I'm quietly confident that I won't end up. I mean... A drop from a first to seven still leaves us uh, uh, with the playoffs. The gap isn't that far. It's only eight points. So the gap between 34th and 24th is 10 points. First and 10 is 10 points. And uh, if you look at it, it's 12 points to New Newton. So this is a very competitive league. Anything can happen. So uh, we can't take things for granted. We can, I'm just going to end up in a lot of trouble. But for now, uh, our next match is going to be against Brackley. Brackley uh, struggling. But this, this is the thing at the moment. Um, I can't take anything for granted. So what I'm now doing is I've gotten quite far into the FA Cup, right? So FA Cup first round. So I'm playing against um, Bilirike in our next match. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to play a slightly different game. We're going to start try and use a 4 one 2 2 one now and see whether or not we can pull this out of the bank. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a lot of hoping and praying in my game, seriously. I, I, I'll be... I mean, I'm not the first to deny it because there's a shitload of luck involved, right? So it's not some tactical wizardry that we have going here. It's just bloody luck. 
for Francis Eddie Inca, right only, playing on the left flank, I'm hoping he does cut inside. And then I've got King Gini, so he's got a lot of acceleration, 13. I've got Marsden on top, hasn't been performing very well. Uh, Bako is still injured, he's my regular striker. Uh, he's 7.18. Marsden, Marsden is the backup striker, but Jolie is on the bench in case I need to get something out of this. But these are these players. <laughs> uh, all I can do is hope. <laughs> okay, so we got this match against Billy Ray K. Training week, Martin. This kid is. I'm gonna praise him. So I brought Abby into the first team since he's been performing so well in training. Uh, so I'm giving him some chances to play Martin. I think if you guys remember, watch the last episode. Uh, there was this boy in my team called Matthew Abbey, whose training numbers have always been very high. 8.45, 9, 9-ish. So I'm giving him a chance to play. Cam Spooner is also doing all the training, so he's probably going to give be given a chance. Luke Wall, Neil Kingney, Michael Clark. Michael Clark is a defender. Why? If I, is he in my team? I think he's one of the defenders here. Yeah, Michael Clark and Damon are the two defenders. Sheridan on loan. We got Abby here. We got Eddie Yinka, Kengini. So essentially, the tactic is uh, very old school. So let's see if uh, if we can pull something out of the hat. Uh, if we can get through this round, it'll be fantastic. We were not expected to get into the FA Cup first round, but we have, and the board is extremely happy. The board is <laughs> board is beaming from ear to ear. We're so happy with our performances. Our competition performance has been ex, ex you know, National League law, let's not talk, we're top of the table. FA Cup, they ex, they're so happy. Uh, third qualifier, I am I am very happy that I got this far. FA Trophy has never been a priority of mine. I've never bothered, no matter what level I've played. Uh, so far, so good. Financially, we're doing all right. Um, we're just slightly above the wage budget. We're spending like 5063 we were supposed to spend 5063 but we're spending 500 uh, pounds more per week. I, I've tried to get rid of the players, but nobody wants to go anywhere. Or rather, nobody wants any of my players, which is, which is not surprising. I mean, if you if you managing a lower league side like Staley Bridge, if you can sell players, I'll, be, I'll take my head off to you, man. Seriously, I really take my head off. Okay, so let's see. Now, do I have... Um, do I... Let's see if I'm closing anybody down. I am actually pressing, pressing high intensity at the back. Um, okay, we'll leave it. Uh, what about these guys? These guys are being pressed. So, okay. So, we have a backline press going on. Now, how do you how do you set this up without knowing? I mean, this small little annoyance in FM19, right? It's not a major deal. Once you know it's there, you know it's there. Um, you go to your tactics, you set it up early, right? You go to the pipe position and then it'll set up for every single game. You just have to be careful. All right, so here we go. Comprehensive highlights. Uh, Hawkridge with the ball. Question is, uh, how will we play? Sheridan does the smart thing by booting the ball out. Um, I actually just want to play on key highlights and get the punishment over with. But I just want to see how my team performs against a uh, top side. So this is and with a new tactic. I've only used this uh, system once before. So I used the FA Cup. Like, I know that there's a chance that we're not going to go through less damage. Uh, we've already gone quite far. So it's not going to do any, anything bad to my morale. So I, yeah, why not? Why, why not? Try something here. It's a great time to try something out. And we're not playing with the low press because uh, they're playing with attacking wing backs. So there, there is some room for us to hit them on the break. Kengini away. Oh, almost. Callum Kennedy went in back there to save the day. Oh, offside. Come on. Offside is your friend, man. The offside trap. Okay. Ah, Billy Rikki. Man, they've been promoted to the National League. I mean, they I think they were in the Van Rama National South or North last season. A club that has had a lot of, I mean, I don't think they're poor. Hawkridge with the corner. Ooh, good defending from McLean. Okay, come on, boys. Let's defend this. Hawkridge, come on. I'm keep, I have to do this now. I literally have to hold my hands. Like, I'm not really praying, but I have to keep my hands away from my freaking mouse. I'm very uh, trigger-happy with changes sometimes. 
So I, I keep telling myself, don't make changes. Just watch the game and try and understand your players. It's very important to see your players. I mean, it, it's better if you can watch this in 3D. I watch this in 2D to see overall shape. But when uh, sometimes when I'm not sure about something, I will actually flip to 3D to watch uh, animations because animations also might tell you a lot. Uh, we're watching and watching. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, he did what was expected of him. Yeah. We don't want to deal with a lot of crosses. Um, and we're doing quite well in the department so far. Okay, so 15 minutes. Kengni, you sweet thing. Get across in. Oh, man. Okay, this is one. Over the top. Oh, Damon, you sweet thing, you. The best signing ever. Jack Damon. Came to my club, knocked on the door and said, Will you let me give will you give me a chance? I went like uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like I was like, you Jack Damon, you're from Gloucester City. Yes, I'm from Gloucester City. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Come on, come on in. Join the boys. And he's been a mainstay of mine. So I got Jack Damon and Cl Michael Clark. Both of them um they've got decent jumping reach. Uh, we can definitely uh, e uh deal with crosses, but I I don't want uh, to deal with too many right now. Jay Sheridan. Uh, okay. So far, we're si just sitting back and... We're just sitting back and soaking pressure. Uh, if this is the way I played in the lower leagues, create a defensively solid tactic and then pray that we can hit on the break. Ooh, nice work, but he's offside. Terry Hawkridge is an accomplished cross. It's an accomplished cross of the ball. We know we're not playing a game which I'm hoping that we can cut out crosses. Kingini. Oh, you beautiful pass! It's a goal! Yo, ho, ho, what a pass! Oh my goodness, Kingini stirred. He turns. He looks up, and he sees McLean, and he goes chips one over the top. What a pass from him, man! Oh my lordy, that was a great goal from McLean. Against the break, against the run of play. I don't believe this. We have been defending stoutly and we've scored on the break. Oh, Critch. Pain. This is so much more better than how we were playing in the, against Telford. Steady bridge. Okay. Billy Rike. We, ha we have knocked a conference side out, right? So we have done that already. One side was knocked out uh, in the last round. So Witness is our sec the second team we're facing from the conference. So let's hope. And it, uh, it's also, Barrow was the first one we knocked out. So let's not get too excited. Wakeman with the save. Ooh, this is, uh, this is tense. I, now my, I can't. How do you guys do this? I mean, seriously, do you shit in your pants? <laughs> I do. I mean, seriously, it's like sitting down here, you get, you create a system where, you know, you might, you, you, you're hoping to see just a few things happen, right? I'm hoping to see Kangni break away and Kangni to, he's on attack duty because he's got the acceleration to get past people. And, um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I kind of hope, like, you know, I hope and pray that he just gets one pass out and we get, we get a chance. So that's 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 all there is to my game. There's no rocket science to the way we play. It's very very straightforward. There's no overloading, no 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 those stuff because I don't think my boys can actually do any of that overloading stuff that I normally do with other sides. They're much better. Although the thought has crossed my mind, Wakeman with a long kick out. I don't know how you guys manage. Oh. I one go one goal up. What do I do? See, my hands are twitching because he wants to make a change. <laughs> Eddie Inka, oh, oh no, Eddie Inka is injured. He's going to have to head to the touchline for treatment. Sixty-three percent. What's wrong? He's a tight groin. Oh no, tight groin. I need Eddie Inka for the rest of the season. So if he goes, my whole season ends with him. Yeah, so we gotta take him off and bring on uh, Jake Charles. <coughs> Eddie Inka will rest. Hawkridge with the corner. Clear. Jake Charles plays it out to Marsden. Marsden, please hold up the ball. McLean will find Sheridan. Sheridan, okay. I mean, I can't blame the youngster. He's very young. Uh, trying a ridiculous pass. Over the top. Oh, no. McLean. Ah, they scored the equalizer. It had <coughs> kind of happened. Yeah. 
Yeah, we. <laughs> what happened over here, boys? Ah, he wasn't paying attention. Who's this? Charm. Yeah. A bit high defensive line. Could have been a problem. Rule to Damon to Abby on to Marsden. But if I play with a lower defensive line. Low defensive line hit them on the break. Then I won't come then the low defensive line will ensure that my players don't get too far forward. Then I'm really only hoping for King Knee to get away. Wow, that's gonna be a big big Okay, that we have to change the defensive line. It's happening too many times. Alright, okay. Out of possession, standard defensive line now. Oh, okay, let's play. We drop the defensive line. Wakeman to Damon. This happened twice already. Good work from Marsden. Looks for Kengni. Puts pressure. Uh, Damon wins the header. Harness. Oh no. Over the top. <laughs> 45 minutes on the clock. Well, we took the one goal lead. Matthew Abbey not playing very well. Um, uh, we didn't come with a plan to substitute him. do a team talk I'm not happy with your performance that's a great way to I mean they are playing quite well then just one mistake Sheridan to McLean uh, McLean does a pass that was not necessary 6.2 for Matthew Abbey he's I mean I could bring on Liam Tang alright we'll make one change Matthew Abbey I like you but I think we need some old-fashioned wizardry from Liam Tang. Okay. It's Johnson with the cross. It's uh, if we can come away with a point, then we bring them back to Staley Bridge. That will be that won't be too bad. Bower Bower Road. That's that's where our stadium is located in Manchester. Okay. John Marston, Charlie Jolie, or John Marston. All right, we're gonna in possession. We're gonna change our passing to standard. We're gonna play for set pieces and be more expressive. Oh no, Kennedy into Wakeman's hands. Well, why have I gone play for set pieces? Well, you never know, right? Set pieces could be the could be could win the day for us, since we're not creating too many chances from open play. Uh, the other thing is uh. Yeah, we are asking our boys to use a bit more creative freedom because my boys aren't that good on the ball. So I'm hoping this little this little exercise might help. Oh no, Hawkridge, come on, stop him! Oh, he gets a what a pass! Uh, that's the problem with defending wide because you're gonna you're gonna deal with those balls right into the uh, right into the middle. We got Kennedy to Jones. Jones plays uh, all right across. And defensively, okay, Kennedy now with the cross, harness. Johnson looks for Kennedy again. They try to cut out the crosses, but he's still, he's still able. Oh my goodness, they're just camping in my half. Johnson, Payne, Hawkridge. Bilirike are putting everything into an attack. Hawkridge. Wakeman saves the day. Come on. Boys, hold this Billy Ricky down. Don't let them win. Force them back to Bower Road. Kennedy. Force backwards. Force all. He's going to have to play back to the to Clark. Clark recycles it to the keeper. Leg comes forward to King. Over the top. And wild, wide. 10 minutes to go. Okay. With 10 minutes to go, they're probably going to be a bit more attacking. So we're gonna take a chance. Take, 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 take a chance. Take a chance. Okay, wing on attack. Advance forward on attack. Um, we're gonna put you on support and tell you to be more direct with your passes.
Uh, and our passing is actually going to be direct. We're not going. We are play out. Yeah, we we'll play our defense. Even though my head says don't. Uh, okay. So confirm the changes. Let's go. We got an, about nine minutes left, and we're gonna go very attacking. Six minutes left. We try and see if we can steal a win. Corner Hawkridge to the corner. McLean clears that. Kennedy the Hawkridge. Hawkridge plays it into the box. It's uh, cleared. Charles with a counter. It's going to... Ah, Marsden couldn't get there. Well, small... I take small... I take some pleasure in small delights. Alright, so we got another throw. Kennedy to Jones. So Hawkridge, come on boys. Force the draw. Force Billy Rick. Good defending. Again, they put up the wall. Yeah, they're all tired. King. They're gonna play this out. Yes. It's enough. Billy Ricky were expected to win, but we've done really well. We've done really well and we managed to hold Billy Ricky to a goal. Uh, basically a draw away from home. We forced them into a replay. Yeah, he's out for two days. That's good. If I kept him on the pitch for longer, he could have been out for a long time. So we're going to have to play Brackley Town next in the league. It's time for us to have it out with Brackley. Brackley is going to try and spoil the party for us. Uh, unbeaten streak might come to an end. I have a... It's got to come to an end, right? Sooner or later. And I suspect it's coming to an end today. On this show. Right here, right now. We are about to see them kick our ass. Alright, Marsden, I'll put him here. Striker will be Bako. Got Jolie on the bench. This is going to be a strong side that I put out. Uh, Charles Jolie, Jake Charles, Steven Rigby. I'm going to... Luke Wall. I'm going to take a chance. Luke Wall, Jake Charles, Charles Jolie, Matthew Abbey, Spallum Spooner. Okay, there we go. Now that I know my boys, we're playing with a custom 4-2-3-1 which is a custom press uh, where I don't use team instructions to do a high press. I actually ask the players in the zones to do the high press. Is it going to work? I have no I have no idea. It might not work. They, we're also going to close these guys down because these guys are DMs. I don't want them to come out. Right, we don't want them to come out of their half. Which means... Yes, we're going to play with a high press. High defensive line. Much shorter passing. Slightly shorter passing. No, I'm not going to be too expressive. I don't want to lose the ball. Okay, let's go. It's a risk I'm taking right now. Extend the highlights. Bako with the ball to Brown. Uh, plays it forward. Marsden hits, gets it. Kangni to Brown. Shoots early. Okay, Look, shoot on side policy might have to be in place here. Eddie Yinka, Kengini, no. Side change the tactic. Uh, Eddie Yinka, you're on support. I want Kengini to be on attack. Rather, inside forward on attack. Okay, and I want you to sit wider. Okay. Okay, we're going to take some chances in this game. Because... Uh, you notice Balogan, he's forward, so I want him to attack the space where Balogan is operating. That's why I changed the tactics immediately. Oh, so we got Balogan here. So I, I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> but if they keep doing this, then, you know, it's a good thing for me. But I have to win. I mean, I, I'm not saying have to win. I, I want to win this game. All right. We've been pushing this team. Uh, I need to see comprehensive highlights. After 15 minutes, I haven't seen anything yet. Okay, we got Damon now. Plays it to Kangni, to Marsden. Kangni again. Spooner comes up to support him. McLean, Marsden, Brown, Marsden, Brown shoots. Mm. Mm. Okay. Damon could not get there. Walk. Oh, but Spooner does brilliantly. Alright, team instructions change. 
scroll wider play for set pieces no in transition counter press out of possession you start marking slightly more urgent this is fine stand defensive with will be wait they're gonna come through my middle that's for sure but i'm gonna take a chance i don't want them to get crosses in but i might open myself up to balls through the middle sheridan over the top uh, but the good one from Marsden, Kengney is trying to close down the keeper. McLean to Brown. Brown plays it out to Kengney. Kengney is offside. Jamal Balogan. Yes, you're the man I'm targeting. But it, a better way to target him would actually be to tell my uh, Kengney to be a winger on attack. But Kengney is now going on the left flank. Okay. And oops. It's a free kick. Is it a yellow card, ref? Kengney with the free kick into the box. Bako, it's a corner. Corner taken quickly. Jack Damon. Brown can't get there. Walker at that first. But Brown wins the ball back. Eddie Ying. Oh, okay. They're still putting pressure on Brackley. My hands I'm keeping to myself. But we are... The mentality is a bit high though. Uh, making me a bit nervous. But so far they haven't shot on target. So that's counting for something. Alright, Kangli can't get there. Spooner. Um, phew, Jeffers gets there. But the boys defend well. Kangli, brilliant position. Ah, that's... Keng back off, oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh man, why did Bako just miss the chance to give us the lead? Damn it. Cheney, good defending from Sheridan. That was some good work from the uh, back line. Uh, sorry, from uh, Kengni. Kengni wins the header, but he doesn't have a lot of support for him. Jeffers shoots Wakeman, makes another save. It's getting dangerous. One over the top. Damon to Kengni. Every time the Jeffers gets away, I get worried. Alright, what we're going to do now is I'm going to change things slightly at the start of the second. Now, Baku will have to come off, okay? I mean, he might as well come off now. So, Charlie Jody is coming on. Uh, you're going to be an advance forward on the tank. Shashua, Dean. Good defending from Damon. Sheridan does well. Uh, Carter with the free kick. Why is it showing that I'm playing with double DMs now? All right, the UI is, looks a bit odd. Dean. To Jeffers. No! Just to make sure that I'm not, pl I'm not playing with double DMs. Um, I, I'm playing with the... Uh, Two of these. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, this is this is making me nervous. All right, one role change makes up. You are now on support. Francis Eddie Inca to Wakeman, Wakeman to Damon, Damon out to Kengney to Marston to Kengney again. Kick my clean wins gets there. Brown, McLean. What a ball for ID Inca. Oh, but this is good work. They keep the pressure on. But they cannot. Jeffers again. <laughs> Jeffers is getting all this. He's picking up scraps from defending. I mean, Brackley have had more shots with, as a result of me failing to find the back of the net. Yeah, man. He's going to punish us sooner or later. Marsden to Brown. Brown plays ID Inca. And it's finally, it's a penalty. Okay, all that pressure. Marsden buries it. Okay. Alright, what do we do now? Uh, team instructions. We've been playing this game for a while. So, standard line of engagement. Okay, not the press. And, uh, yeah, we'll counter press. I mean, we can counter press with this tactic still. 70 minutes on the clock. Can we keep this up? This will be a, this is a tough three points if we do win it. 
But they, I don't think it's over. <laughs> I definitely think that this match might end up being a point shared again. Um, Francis Eddie Yinka. Okay, we're going to make a change now. I'm going to take Eddie Yinka off and bring on uh, Luke. Jake Charles, actually. Yeah. It's Clark, Low, Shashua. Good block. Spooner with the ball. Brown finds Jolly. Finds Charles. Charles finds McLean. McLean inside the box. Okay, this is it. It's now or never. Okay, it's <laughs> what a tackle. Oh my goodness. The defensive line tweak helped because now we get we have two players on um Jeffers when he gets away. Now, now they're dangerous. Jeffers and Endovu. Jack Damon is like screaming, can you take me off? Can you please take me off because I'm tired. Jeffers goes all the way back under pressure. Walker over the top. It's Endovu into the safe hands of Wakeman. Thank you for passing the ball to my keeper. We get five minutes left on the clock. Okay, Wakeman to Clark. Clark to Sheridan to Charles. Charles brings the ball up. Plays it back to McLean. McLean, Khan, Shashu. Low over the top. Damon wins the header. Marsden comes back. Wakeman, Marsden, Jolly. Bring a smile to my face, man. Jolly. And Dovo. No, it's Jeffers. He's done it again. Damon with another challenge. That guy, Jeffers, is giving me a heart attack. Shashu. You to the safe end. So we're, we're, oh my goodness. This is going to be... Ner uh, I'm a nervous wreck. 16 shots Brackley have had and we are surviving on scraps. We have one penalty. Thank you for the penalty. But Brackley have had the better chances, the breakaways by Jeffers. They should have been 3-0 up by now. Jeffers finishing just let them down. Wakeman to Clark. Clark gives the... My goodness. I mean, I thought, really? Is that the way we're supposed to get a, give them a point by giving them the ball so they can go and score? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's all over. Thank God for that steady bridge. Celtic win again. That's another 1-0 win. Holy cow. These 1-0 wins are not good for my heart. They are not good for my heart. Because I've had so many of them already this season. 1-0. Okay, I mean, okay, I've had two. Feels like I have. I've been, all these narrow wins, 2-1, 2-1, 3-2, 3-2, 5-4. 1-0, 3-2, 2-1, 1-0. We we're not beginning to keep clean sheets together. That's good. So, we're reaching a point now in the season. Stadium Bridge record overdue wins. Say I've beaten Brackley to record their first win in for five games. That's true. We've not won in five. And we've drawn five. We've drawn one, two, three, four, five, five away games. Five matches rather, not away games. But finally, we managed to win a match. And, you know, now it's a, still a three-point gap. We're still undefeated at the top of the van, I mean, at the National League North. I'm just hoping that we can continue from here and do something with this. So, very tough three points against Brackley. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Staley Bridge Celtic Diaries. Uh, and uh, you found it entertaining. If you have any questions, you can always look me up on Twitter at Pastanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support this channel. We make this kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.